Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to the Hive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at installing Hacks or the Home Assistant Community Store. This is a follow on from the previous video and the fifth video in a series of getting started with Home Assistant in 2022 videos. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe? And if you like, you can also hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And that's normally every week. While you're at it, check out my affiliate links in the video description to buy some of the gadgets that you've seen in previous videos and other ways to support the channel, like signing up for NordVPN using my affiliate link or contributing through my buy me a coffee link. With all of that out of the way, Let's get started. So in the last video, we went through how to install a couple of useful add-ons into our Home Assistant installation so that we can add some custom functionality. And we installed SSH and Terminal as part of that video. If you haven't already installed the SSH and terminal add-on into Home Assistant, you will need to go back and do that now because it is a prerequisite for the installation of Hacks. As a quick refresher, you can install the SSH and terminal add-on by going to Settings, Add-ons, Add-on Store, Terminal and SSH, click on that, install that, make sure your configuration has either a password or an SSH key, and then start the integration back on the info tab. Once SSH is started up, we can access our Home Assistant command line either via SSH, as we demonstrated in the previous video, or via the web portal. Now we only need to do one thing in the command line to get hacks into Home Assistant. So I'm just going to open the web interface here. And I'm just going to run the clear command. So to get hacks installed, I'm going to open up the website for hacks.xyz. And you'll see uh, that we've got the Home Assistant Community Store website. And uh, we'll go to the download page and it tells us the prerequisites. So we need to have Home Assistant 2022.4 on newer running. It needs to be a supported Home Assistant installation. We need access to the file system. We need to know how to access the log files. We need to be aware that there are no add-ons in Hacks and that we need to have a stable internet connection with sufficient available data or no data caps. So a prerequisite that's not mentioned here is that you do need to have a GitHub account. So I'm going to open up github.com uh, and if you don't already have an account, you would click sign up, but I happen to have one. So I'm going to click sign in and I'm going to click sign in because it's already saved my details. It's asked to send a sign in request to my GitHub mobile app. So I've got two factor authentication here. So I need to open up GitHub mobile on my iPhone over here. And I'm just going to click approve on here because it's uh, popped up on my iPhone screen. So uh, it is waiting and now we're logged into my GitHub. So we are ready to go with that. So I'll head back to my prerequisites page for hacks and I'll click on the next button here, which says to download. So I'll click that and uh, it's got a couple of different options. We've got OS or supervised, we've got container or course. So the type of Home Assistant installation is going to affect the way we do this installation. So OS slash supervised is what we have on our Raspberry Pi. So what I'm gonna do is hover over this code snippet here and click copy. And that's copied that code snippet to our clipboard. And so now we can head back to our terminal in our Home Assistant and I can paste that and I can hit return. And that's now going to download and install hacks from the Hacks website and it says, uh, remember to restart Home Assistant before you configure it. So we're going to need to restart Home Assistant and we can do that by going to settings and then system and we can click restart in the top right hand corner here. So we'll do that. This should be relatively quick because we don't have a whole lot set up, but we'll give that a couple of minutes. 
So my home assistant has started back up. That didn't take long at all because there's really not a whole lot set up in here. Uh, but now what we can do is we can go back to settings and we can go to devices and services and we can click on add integration and we can type in hacks. And we now have hacks here. So if I click on that, uh, we need to, uh, before you can set up hacks, you need to acknowledge the following. I know how to access the logs. I know that there are no add-ons in hacks. I know that everything is a custom and untested by Home Assistant. And I know that I've got issues. I should disable all my custom components. So I've ticked those boxes. You do need to tick them before you can click submit. So now it's going to ask us to open github.com slash login device, and paste the following keys. So AAC21, AC21DD3F, we'll click the link ac 21 dd 3 3 F and we'll click continue and it says the authorization was requested uh, hacks by hacks existing access access public information read only click authorize hacks and now congratulations you're all set it's all ready to go so we can close that window and it's got success configurations created I'm going to put this in the office and click finish and so now we have hacks available here in our home assistant integration and we can configure that and change things uh, what we will do is enable app daemon discovery and tracking and net daemon discovery and tracking uh, and I will click submit there and we'll click finish and we'll see now we've got hacks over here on the left hand side and we'll click on hacks and you'll see we've got three different things that we can add we've got integrations front end and automation now we've got add-ons and it says quite clearly there are no add-ons in hacks but you can click here to get to the supervisor which just takes you back to settings and then add-ons which we looked at in the previous video uh, if we head back to hacks uh, we'll first take a look at integrations and integrations are, as the name suggests, different integrations that we can add in. So if the integration isn't available through the add integration button here, then uh, we might be able to find something that allows us to add it in hacks. And this is what I was talking about when we were choosing uh, accessories. If you can't find it in the native integrations, you might be able to find a hacks repository. And so if we click explore and download repository, you'll see we've got a bunch of different things in here. For example, we've got the local to you integration, which I did a video on previously. Alexa media player is another one uh, that we've got in here. And uh, I use that in my setup as well. And there's a bunch of others in here, like remote home assistant that links multiple home assistant instances together. Uh, garbage collection I use, and we also used Tarpo cameras control in the video about the Tarpo camera. So there's lots and lots of stuff that you can add in here. And it can be things like a PF Sense integration for Home Assistant. And it can be all sorts of things. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a gadget. It might be a public transport service. It might be an air quality service. There are so many different things that you can add in here. And these are all community applications. The thing to be aware of here, though, is that these are obviously not supported by Home Assistant assistant themselves and there is a chance that if you install one of these add-ons such as the Bureau of Meteorology add-on uh, that it could potentially break your home assistant instance so if you do install something and then you find that something's not working properly it's worth disabling it to see if everything comes good again don't get me wrong the Bureau of Meteorology uh, component is perfectly fine when you are exploring and this goes for any of the repositories here, you can just click on the item that you're looking for uh, and you'll see some information about it. And when you're ready to install it, you can click download this repository on hacks. Uh, it asks you to select a version. So you can select an older version or you can show beta versions. And if you show beta versions, uh, it might take a bit to refresh and it might look a bit different in this case with local to you it doesn't i'm going to turn that off i'm just going to click download and that's going to download and install local to you if you want more info on local to you though uh, check out the video 
uh, that is linked in the video description below. Now you'll notice after we installed local to you uh, that we are now pending a restart. So after you install any add-ons using hacks, you do need to restart the Home Assistant instance by going to settings, system, and then restart. So that's integrations. Let's take a look at front end now and we'll see uh, if we click on explore, there's a bunch of different things that we can add uh, to make our front end look prettier. For example, a Xiaomi vacuum map card or mushroom. Uh, Mushroom's a really gorgeous uh, dashboard card type and we can create these really nice dashboard cards, uh, which I will be doing a full deep dive on Mushroom in a future video. Things like the Xiaomi vacuum map card uh, and you can see if we find a so we'll find a screenshot. You'll see that this particular one shows us um, different functions like the status, the, the battery, the fan speed, uh, and also shows uh, the map that the vacuum is working with as well. So the last type of hacks integration that we'll talk about is automations. Uh, and you can see that we've got some new repositories on here, things like Home Assistant to ITAC, Notify on Update. Uh, but if we click on the Explore and Download repositories, you'll see that we've got some other things in here like Akara Motion Sensors, which is an app daemon app to reset Xiaomi Akara Motion Sensors after a given timeout. Uh, or there's other things like a home alarm, which uses either an Alexa or Google home alarm integration and notifies the system uh, and notifications system for your home security. So that's installing hacks in your Home Assistant instance. Hacks is really powerful for installing community add-ons, but as mentioned a few times throughout this video, anything you install through there is obviously not supported by the Home Assistant developers and may or may not work appropriately in your smart home. That's all we have for this video and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to pop a comment down below with home automation ideas you'd like to see me cover in a future video or tell me what your favorite integrations through hacks are. Don't forget to follow Hivemind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, please consider changing that now. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified when I release new videos, and that's normally each week. If you're in the market for a VPN provider, there's an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description as well. I made the choice to partner with NordVPN because they have the best infrastructure of any of the VPN providers I looked into. They have a strict no logs policy and servers all over the globe. On top of that, they have apps for just about every platform around, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So no matter what platform you're using, wherever you are in the world, you can protect your personal sensitive information while you browse the web, regardless of being on unsecured Wi-Fi. So get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. Lastly, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Contributions that you make through my buy me a coffee link are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.